Tigers, it's Savannah. Hang in there, it's almost our three-day weekend. And I'm Holly. Lunch is just around the corner, so hold your hungry horses and tune into these very riveting announcements. And I'm Alex of your Tiger Sports. Now here's the news and announcements you, you need, need to, to know. know. Tigers, do you need a little help with Algebra 1, Geometry, or Algebra 2? Come check out Math Labs Tuesdays and Thursdays in the library from 4 to 5 p.m. Rotary Youth Leadership Conference Applications, available now for 10th and 11th graders old. RYLA is a weekend of memories, fun, and learning how to be a better leader. Apply, interview, and be selected. The application is in the Class of 2024 and Class of 2025 Google Classrooms. Complete, print, and due to Mrs. Martin no later than November 8th. Chat with Mrs. Martin in the Career Center office if you have any questions. Senior college application workshops will be hosted by the counseling team every Tuesday and Thursday from 3.45 to 4.30 and every Wednesday at lunch. Seniors should come in with logins and questions. They look at Cal State, UC, and Common Apps. Their workshops will run until November 29th. Make sure to get the college apps done before break. Check out all the resources to help on the CSU and UC pages of the counseling website also. Tigers, this year's first canned food drive is coming up. ASP is here to tell you more. Canned food drive, come on, grab your friends, we'll go over there. Yes, Tim, can. Watch mashed potatoes again, yeah. Drive! Tigers, you have the chance to help someone else out and earn spirit points for your class. The upcoming canned food drive is the week of November 7th through 11th. All specialty items are worth five points and all other non-perishable items are worth one point. The specialty items are stuffing, box mashed potatoes, canned yams, brown sugar, and canned soups. Thank you, Tigers. We can only make a difference together. The Slow High Robotics team traveled to Centennial High School this past weekend to compete in the first tournament of the year. All three teams competed in, this el in the elimination rounds, with our freshman team of Fernando Rios and Sean Williams fighting all the way to the quarterfinals. Vincent Mann was 5-1 and made it all the way to the semifinals, while the team of Chris Campbell and Hunter Dorf went undefeated and were crowned tournament champions, and also robot skills champions. Congratulations also go to Vincent for the Build Award, and Chris and Hunter for winning the Think Award. Tigers, the first open mic of the school year will be happening this November 10th during lunch. If you're a performer and want to show off your musical or performing talents to your fellow Tigers, sign up for this cool event. The sign-up sheet will be located in the Slows Arts Instagram bio, or just click the QR code on the screen. And for everyone else, remember to stay on campus this day to watch some cool performances. The Slow High Band is hosting their own field show competition on Saturday the 5th from 6 to 9. Come see the Slow High Band perform their halftime show as well as other bands in the county. The Cal Poly Band will also be performing. Tickets will be $10. Now to Alex with the sports. Hey guys, Alex here filling in for Milo with our Tiger Sports. Today, we have football heading out to Tulare. No pressure, of course, go get the win. Also, boys water polo is facing Clovis in the CIF quarterfinals. Now back to Holliff and Savannah with Lunch in U.S. History. Today for lunch, we have the local all-beef burger, local beef cheeseburger, Hearst Ranch, grass-fed Thai basil lentil burger, buffalo chicken wrap, and the local hummus box. And on this day in U.S. History, in 2014, the One World Trade Center opened in New York City on the site of the former World Trade Center complex, which had been largely destroyed in the September 11, 2001 attacks. That's all for today, Tigers. See you tomorrow. <laughs>